The Taliban government excavated a grave which turned out to contain a Toyota Corolla car belonging to the founder of the Taliban Mullah Omar. The car is planned to be exhibited at the Afghan National Museum because it has a very strong historical value in Omar's early life. It is known that Umar was a legendary figure in Afghanistan who founded the Taliban group in 1994. Under his leadership Omar's ball was even able to bring the Taliban to power in Afghanistan in 1996, only that everything changed when the Americans came to Afghanistan in 2001. At that time Omar had to constantly hide from the pursuit of the United States Army when the Taliban refused to hand over bin Laden, the US and their allies launched airstrikes into Afghanistan before striking to remove the Taliban from power and form a new government. The Toyota Corolla that Mullah Omar always used to avoid attacks by the United States Army. Omar died in 2015 the Taliban, who are still loyal to Omar K then, trying to save the traces of the leader's legacy, including a Toyota Corolla which was then buried in the ground. The car was buried because it was feared it would be confiscated by the United States Army. Still very good, there is only damage to the front, said Ramatullah, director of information and culture of Zabul province. Now the car has been excavated and will soon be exhibited at the Afghan National Museum. The car is a great historical monument for the Taliban, Ramatullah explained. Meanwhile Prime the Taliban minister on July 9 defended the regulations for women and girls in Afghanistan. He insisted his government implement human rights as we have ordained by God and they dare not change it. The statement came a day after the UN Human Rights Council passed a resolution urging Taliban to cancel the practice of restricting the basic rights of Afghan women. Making them invisible in society, people say the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan doesn't care about the human rights of men and women, said Hassan account in the Afghan capital cable. Referring to the growing number of criticisms regarding the homework of Sharia law by the Taliban there are two types of human rights one that has been designed by non-Muslims for themselves and the rights that God has decreed for humanity are great for humanity. Said the Prime Minister of the Taliban, how can we not treat it even though our mission is to introduce a system Islam in that country, the regulations are also part of the Islamic system and the way of divine decree for Muslims.